Deaf American released the record. The band split in two on a tour, and um, me and Googe found Del Delicious Vinyl found me and Googe, and uh, decided to re-release the record and uh, and get a happening band together and make more records and uh, make good music. That's what it's all about. Jam a lot of old tape, listen back to it, pick out songs and that type of thing. Everybody on like some kind of suspect. We didn't use the word audition, it was, we just jammed with people, you know, we didn't tell anyone to learn anything off the record, but show up with your guitar and see what happens. And the, the great thing that happened was that we didn't get any phone heads at all, you know, like all the guitarists we jammed with around town were really great. Ginger was kind of reluctant, right? I was a bit reluctant, I must agree. Yeah, he was like, who are these, what is this, a metal band or something? And uh, we just plugged in and uh, started jamming, and about five hours later, we all had big smiles on our faces. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's rock and roll music. It's, it, to me, it's timeless. And it's not like, let's sound like, you know, uh, like they used to in the good old days. It's like, write, you know, writing songs and doing music that's spontaneous, makes people feel good, or maybe shakes them up a little. And it's like, it's, you know, it's not like we're wearing paisley pants or anything like that, you know? It has nothing to do with retro. scratched the surface of what this band's gonna do. You know, um, Ginger's been in the band a week, and uh, Daniel's been in the band for two months, and uh, God, I mean, you know, we, we it's, it's like the whole world has opened up. I mean, we're not writing any possibilities off. Uh, we have enough songs to probably put out about three more records, and uh, no sweat, you know, it's gonna be pretty great. Nobody's seen this for a hundred years.